hey, our little cool group in 431, Theories and Practices of Tutoring Writing. Um, I'm kind of excited. I've never taught this class with only 10 people. There's usually 30 people in here. Um, and I think the sign of the times. So I'm stoked that there's just 10 of us. You know what we can get done with just like 10 or 11 of us? It's going to be great. Um, thinking about everybody a lot today, it is Friday the 21st. And uh, besides our pandemic, uh, we have wildfires burning all over California. And so I'm just hoping that you're safe and healthy and that you will feel comfortable reaching out to me if you need anything. Um, yeah, just hope that. Just hope you're safe and know that, you know, I will try to use whatever resources I have to support. So you should feel comfortable reaching out if you need anything. Um, so I'm going to try to give you like not overwhelm a lot of information. Just kind of get through like what do you need for the first this first week? Um, number one, thank you to those of you who have done the survey already. Uh, I sent an email, but it's also on the front of our site. I have a survey I need you to take so that I can place you in an internship. Um, and so a little bit about that. This is a four unit class. And so one of those units is a two hour a week internship where you're working with an experienced writing mentor to think about how to support writers, particularly in our case, freshman writers, people who are new to our college community. Um, so to streamline things a little bit this time since there's already such an apparatus with us being online. Um, I'm going to ask you to intern in our jumbo class workshops. So you're going to be paired with one of them. And what I'm hoping is, you know, this class leads to you being able to apply for those same paid positions next semester. So you pass this class with a B or better and which you'll do fine. And then you can apply to not only work in the jumbo, but in with us in EOP and other kinds of workshops, student learning center hires, ESL resource center hires um, our mentors. And so um, hopefully these internships help you think through ways you can support students who are writing. Um, so I need you to sign up for one of those. And then um, next week I'll talk a little bit about um, how best to contact those mentors and get the Zoom link and what you'll be doing and how you'll keep track of field notes and those kinds of things. So this course is kind of organized by you gathering your own data and then us all doing some reading together. Um, you have two communities to join you might have seen. One is Currents, which used to be G+, and now Google is calling it Currents, Currents Community. You have to be logged into your Chico State credentials in order to get into that community. Every once in a while, your browser won't recognize that you, uh, that it'll think you're still in a different Gmail or in a different account and you'll go to this weird start page. So sometimes you'll have to use a different browser or reboot your computer so that it lets you log in with your Chico State credentials and then go into our current site. Uh, it's where you'll post field notes and where you'll have a partner to talk about each other's field notes and the data you're collecting. And then the other uh, site is Perusal. And Perusal is a site that I use with my colleagues when we want to put a reading that we want to talk about together. So I'm using it in exactly the same way. And some of you have had me as grad students in other classes and um, it'll be a shared annotation space where we'll comment and discuss the readings in that space together. You really can't do it wrong. Sometimes you'll have more to, more comments to put and sometimes fewer. Um, so I'm not, we're not playing that. I'm not gonna like, you only need to make six comments, nothing like that. I, I just want you, remember the goal, engage in the reading with our community and have some discussions together. And that's kind of in place of like what you might have in other classes where you might do a reading log or discussion. This is gonna serve that purpose. We're gonna talk about the readings. And then each week in these kind of video updates, I'll kind of pick up on some of those ideas and we'll uh, clarify some of the things that are confusing or those kinds of things. So Currents and Perusal, if you could join those pretty soon, that helps me out and I know we're good to go. And then um, by Thursday, the 27th, you're gonna write an intro, like who are you? Why are you here? Um, and you're also gonna talk a little bit about some of the writing rules you've been taught and riff off that a little bit. 
uh, and that's Thursday in Currents. And then by Sunday, the 30th, you're going to read a piece uh, that is hot off the presses that myself and Dr. Laura Sparks and Dr. Chris Fosen wrote together about the jumbo class that you're going to intern in. So the intention there is to give you some context and it's called Epic Learning in a Jumbo Writing Course, literally came out yesterday um, in the journal Composition Studies, which I'm pretty excited about. So, and you're gonna look over Dr. Sparks' course website. She's the one teaching the first year comp class that you're interning in with these mentors. So we're just gonna try to get you situated into like the space that you're interning in. So you're gonna annotate that reading and perusal by Sunday. And there'll be a lot of stuff in there that I think will be like, what's this acronym? So I'm hoping you ask a lot of questions um, on, on that piece so that you can kind of get your bearings of like, what am I interning in? <laughs> what's this first year comp thing that I'm doing? And who, what, what freshmen, what workshops, how does this work? So feel free to ask a lot of questions. I think that's all I need to say for now. As I said before, nothing to buy. All the links to the readings will be in perusal. And, uh, and you can reach out with any kind of questions that you have. I'll say a little more about internships as we get started next week. Your first day in your internship will be the second week of the semester. So not this Thursday, the first week of school, not that Thursday or Friday, but the second week of school. Um, gives them a week to kind of get situated. So yeah, hope you're all doing okay. Look forward to working together. <laughs>